only thing that could be better than one open ROV is two open ROVs. So check it out. I've got my um, brand new kit here for an open ROV 2.7. And my first open ROV, I built with the help of my friend Neil Chisholm over at his workshop. And that was really cool because he's got a lot of tools to um, help build it. But this ROV, the 2.7, one of the key features of the 2.7, in addition to being more robust than the 2.6 open ROV, is that its assembly is supposedly easier. And so just for that reason, I'm going to attempt to assemble this open ROV here in my home. And so this time around, I'm going to use my kitchen here. Um, hopefully I don't get in too much trouble and, and hopefully the dog house is big enough for both Lucy and me um, because it might make a little bit of a mess. I'm going to try to document it as much as possible and I'll even try to live stream parts of it if people want to ask questions or want to see certain specific things. So this should be pretty cool with Lucy's help and Alex's patience. Um, I should get this thing built in just a few days and then we'll be out exploring more of Puget Sound. So before we get started, I'm going to lay out some cardboard to protect my countertops while I'm doing the build and then I'll assemble all of the items that you need when you're getting ready to build your open ROV. impression is that the um, pieces of the Open ROV 2.7 are indeed um, far more robust than the 2.6. So that's pretty cool. This thing, um, yeah, feels pretty burly. Um, I am going to start assembling the, um, where am I assembling here? Mm -hmm. 